Got your knife right here. Cuts super easy. If you just put it on the board, it's really sharp. Watch out. Stuff to work with, isn't it? It's like yeah, it's all way better than the other stuff. So she'll take that two footer probably, right? Oh, that's only a one footer. Okay. Uh. Oh, I'll I'll carry those. Yeah. If you want to take that one footer, Jess, you could put it. Yeah, you could just put it above it. Quicker. I got a pill for that. Yeah, that's gonna be the same thing. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Do we need another pack with them at least? Right? What's up? Yeah, oh yeah, we got a bunch more. I, I was worried I didn't have enough, but... Weird, this stuff's a little different color. It's got like a yellow pink to it. Feel okay up there on the planking? Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely. Want another piece? Yeah. When you're ready. Oh, David missed a nail. I told you he missed one. I did. Miss. I even told him he missed it on that. I told him which one. I didn't know it was there, but I was just guessing. I ain't missed nothing. I don't miss a fish. I don't miss a fish. Oh, we got footage. Dave, in your whole career, is there one fish that haunts you? There's a tournament that haunts me. Yeah, me too. And, and the guys, I had one in the hall with Blake Wheeler. Mm -hmm. Wheeler? That's the one that haunts me. Yeah. That, I had well, one in the hole. It was Pickwick, oh. but I was walking through the oh. And that's the one that gets me. I can't even sleep sometimes when I think about wheeling. Like, I found the hole for the old American. Uh huh. I never broke off more fish in my life. I just had a. I was. I, I'd switched over to that tatsu. Oh. Man. I'll never throw it again. This is a, I, dude. I just broke off one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. How much more than a little truck? Oh, you got one, I think two and a half full ones in the truck at least. Okay. Because we're going to need one, two, three, seven, eight, huh? 11, 12, 13. We need 13, 14, 16, 17. We need about 17 more bats. Oh, any pieces you have, too, David, we can go on that gable end wall. I forgot we took some out of there too. Are these 
The nice part about that plank and you're on is we can slide it side to side. So you were locking up, huh? Yeah. Dang. And I had the wind and cold. Mm -hmm. And what what happened? I think that might be perfect for that hole. <coughs> um, the guys saw me catch them. Locals? Yeah. Oh. And I asked them to stay off of it. Oh. So it took me, whatever, two and a half, three hours to get up there, and they were on it. And I had made like 15 casts, caught 15 three pounders on it. No way. They got, <coughs> I got there this, that Saturday or Sunday morning, and they were there. They probably ate them. Huh? Probably. Yeah, I'll take one again. This is looking awesome, guys. Thank you for helping. We pay in food and guide services. That's it, though. But not till the job's done, sorry. <coughs> We're paying raccoons. <laughs> In live raccoons. There you go. Yeah. I could use the hammer. You need a cut? Or is it? Uh oh. Alright, this guy hates wearing a tool belt, just like me. But he's not getting paid unless he puts it on, so I noticed he started to put it on as soon as we we got threatened his pay. I got to get I gotta get paid. <laughs> got I, to get paid. <laughs> I got to. I mean Bass Pro Tour is cutting us and raising entry fees and doing everything else. And thank goodness Joe hired me. I can make some money so I can hit the tour next year. We haven't told him how much we're paying him, but my name might be on the side of David Dudley's boat and we got a new wrap for his boat next year It's gonna be all coon skins. So we got a lot of work might be moose skins and coon skins a little hybrid All right, does this look good over here Joe? Approved? I think so I mean, I think so too. It's in there and she's hitting halfway over there. Yeah, and then tap her down Beautiful so Jeff, you just want to kind of make sure that that taps down the whole way. Okay. And you can let him know and he can kind of work it down. <laughs> and what, what's the nail and pad? One. One every, every rafter where am i nailing hide the nail so you take the gun and you kind of twist it and you have to depress it first and then pull the trigger right beautiful so you're nailing through the corner of the tongue not in the if you look at your right elbow you might be able to see my nail on the gable end oh. right elbow can yeah. you see, right see oh i got and see how it's going to be hidden by the tongue uh -huh. the, the groove next I, time. I got you. There's a little bit of an art to it. Yeah, I, I think. I but you're an artist. You're an artist with a spinnerbait. You and Jimmy Houston. Oh, that is that on? Yeah. Yeah, I just put it on. Right there? Yeah. Did it work? No. Nope. Nail came through, but it shot all the way through. Oh, it did? Yeah. So you, got, you might have to catch a little more meat. And then straight into the rafter. Got it? Yeah. And then Jess, is that tapped down all the way? Yep, that tapped it all the way. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and then that, uh, we're going to get you another starter. So what we'll do is we'll get you like 
four or five starters, and then we'll get you all 16 ready to go, okay? Just like flowing, man. You put, it's, the, it's the same. You put your starters yeah. kind of to the side, and then you're just. It's the same phrase it's, thing. Yep. 100% same. And, and you've got two inches to work with, so if it's not dead center, as long as you're catching a rafter on the last one, you're good. Every once in a while, you get a board that's warped, and that's when you'll have to boom, 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 and then, you know, work it down. But the key is, like, like that one was awesome. Nice and tight the whole way. Beautiful. We'll get this going a lot quicker. Okay. Thank you. Yes, this is the next starter. All right, Pops, I'll come out with you. We're going to get you guys three sixteens. All right, so these are, these are three sixteens. Yep, these are just starter pieces. And then the next three are all sixteen. Just get me to where, um, well, you know, halfway. Really. Well, I mean, you get the other ones. And you can just leave that block in place and work around. I'll cut around. I mean, a face nail might actually not be the worst thing. Right? Dang, Joe. I don't care what anybody says about you. You all right. We on the home stretch. I hope you catch a lot of furzies. I want to see when you come in from a day's of work. I want to see like five fishers, eight martins, and I want you to come in here, start you a fire, keep yourself nice and warm for your adventure. Hey, but look, do I get a fisher pelt with number one? I want fisher pelt number one. Can I buy it from you? Hmm? You got it, buddy. Fisher pelt number one. Because I don't want any, I want number one. I you, think that's a special one. You got it. So if anybody else wants to buy Fisher Pelt number two, Martin Pelt number three, Yotes, I mean, hey, I at least get dibs on number one. You got it. I mean, that's, I know it's going to cost me more. And, you know, I know it's going to cost me more, but are you going to be comfortable in here nice and warm after a long day trip? I think so. It's looking good. Jess, what do you think? I think it looks great. Give us an update. How the day's going? It's been awesome. You ain't got to worry about rusting anybody out anymore. I won't put no more wood in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> and, and who do we have up here? So we got Stevie joining in. I'm here. I'm here. We are so happy Stevie's here. He brought Adam, the electrician. And guys, look at this. I'm going to show you something that makes me so happy. Teamwork Watch this. Teamwork. Watch this. Holy cow. Did you see that? Did you see that? Let there be light. And look at this in here. Look at that. We got light. We got light. We got power. There it is. It's all hooked up, looking pretty. We're good to go. There's Fanny. 
Triple Dog Dale or what? I to get you something to drink. I dare you to give me a Coke Zero. <laughs> I triple dog dare you. I triple dog dare you to catch it in between your butt cheeks when I throw it up. <laughs> oh, well, I try that. Just as long as you don't go near the brown. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Good hands, Allstate. Oh, that was close. Oh. Have y'all seen that Instagram reel? No. You haven't? Which one? Where they throw the tools up and they catch it in between their butt cheeks. No, they you don't. You have it? Yes. No. That's why I said that. Here, I got a skill saw over here. No, I, I mean, bet you I can catch a skill saw. <laughs> <laughs> you have uh, seen that? I got, I've never been on Instagram. It's looking phenomenal, fellas. It does. It looks great. Yep, Social we got the Dr. Dr. McGillicuddy's fridge. <laughs> cool us bad. down. Yeah, but it's reversed. That's what she said. Hold your apple game. Try it. There it is. Joe! No nail, no nail needed on that. Joe, the moment has come. You're a slave driver, but I'm okay with it. The moment has come. This is the last nail of the day. We started brainstorming at 5.30 this morning. Ate us some partridge and red squirrels for breakfast. Joe had mountain oysters for, uh, for uh, <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> And then we started slaving at 7.30. It's almost midnight. And, and even though we're up north, it's still daylight. You gotta remember where it's daylight. Almost midnight. So listen closely to this sound. If you this split that board, I'm is... gonna pull you off that stage. We are done, Joe. Done. It's a thing of beauty. Sorry, Jack. <clears throat> Looks awesome. Enjoying the scenery of this this cabin. Don't get any better than this. No internet. No phone ringing. No phone ringing. Minutes, right? No watching Instagram reels or Facebook stories or any of that. We got us a fire going and just washed, took a, took a shower or a bath with a, uh, a crock pot or whatever you call it, a snow <laughs> pot. Waiting on the brisket. We got the ceilings all done. Looks beautiful. Gable ends done. Got a brisket in the oven. Got corn, beans, hot water going for tea. Get some taters over here. We got a bunch of shed antlers and, and uh, other antlers that we've picked up over the years. Got a propane heater that we might put up for supplemental heat for down the road. And then we got a really, really, really cool piece of art that I'm so excited to hang. I'm gonna call it art. I don't think it's really art, but check this thing out. You guys are not gonna believe this. Stevie's dad tied all of these flies and they're all just awesome main patterns and they're beautiful. Look at that display. Look at this, guys. Is that not freaking awesome? Yeah, awesome? Yep, and it's got the name of each one on the back. But I'm so excited to get that thing hung up. Get these antlers hung up. We got a bear. We got a bear rug in the bag over here. And, uh, and that's about it. Fanny's. Danny's hanging up in here for now. She's going to be in the outhouse, but for now. Donnie's mother painted this at 100 years old. So that, and then the bedroom's coming together. I'll, I'll get my act together on the bunk beds, but it is for what it is for now. But I'm so excited. We got power here now. We got a ceiling. Got a gable end. Got great friends and family. Life is good.
It doesn't get much better. We got a cooler full of Dr. McGillicuddy's. No one here drinks. <laughs> That's why it's not full. That's it. What do they call them, Virginia? Dinner or supper? Dinner. Dinner? Yeah. It's dinner time? Dinner time. Supper. I'd probably call it more supper. Supper? What do they call them in the North Main Woods? Veggies or fruit. Grub time. Yes. Oh. All right. Thank David's you. got salad because he's a vegetarian. And the rest of us, oh my God, wait till you see this. Oh, oh, look at that brisket. I've been slaving over that all day. And he's no vegetarian, believe me. <laughs> I'm a meatitarian. What's the name of your meat guy? Uh, Robichon? Steve. No, meat eater. Renelli. Uh, Renelli. He, he, he is an idol of mine. I do appreciate his. So we got mashed taters, corn, beans, salad, and we got biscuit. It's going to be one heck of a Chef meal. Joe. Good night, Irene. That's it for us tonight, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate all the support for the channel. Check out David's channel too. He's got a channel. If you're into bass fishing and stuff like that, if you want to see him goofing off, come to my channel. There'll be plenty of that on there. We're going to drive this grub right into us and get up tomorrow. And maybe we'll do some hunting tomorrow since he got all the work done ahead of schedule. Yeah, Joe said we were going to be three or four days working. Working for three or four days. Well, I Joe, got, I got more we talk about working. Yeah. We ain't talking about hunting. We talking about working, Joe. Working. <laughs>